Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bronwyn. Now I am a skincare specialist by trade with eight plus years of in-field experience. However, with that being said, I am not a dermatologist nor am I a medical esthetician or an esthetician. I am literally just someone who has worked in the field giving educated skincare tips and advice in retail stores, in medical situations, in online e-commerce websites as a customer service rep giving educated advice to consumers and people. So that's a little bit of a background on me. I'm starting to do that introduction in my videos because I wanna kind of authenticate myself and how I have so much knowledge in skincare because I realized this is probably something I should have been saying for years now, but never have. I don't know why, but anyway, that's a little bit about me and why I am doing skincare related videos. I am passionate about them. I have been super passionate about skincare for many, many years now, and I'm always happy to share my skincare knowledge with you guys if it can help anyone else. With that being said, in today's video, it's kind of an impromptu video, which is why the background is my streaming setup background for when I do live streams on Twitch, because I did some major skincare shopping for my sister. It's her birthday tomorrow. And for so long, I've been trying to get her to use Korean skincare and smart skincare for her age, but she hasn't really done it. And finally, she asked me to please build her a skincare routine. So with the money that I have, this is what I could get her. Now I am missing some items that I otherwise would have loved to get her as well, but my budget wasn't really that big for <laughs> this birthday present. So I figured I would take the opportunity to go over them as my recommendations for some Korean skincare that is on the affordable side for someone in their late 20s and 30s. So I did a majority of my skincare shopping from one of my favorite Korean skincare brands that is Road Shop and Affordable, and that is the brand Innisfree. Innisfree is a skincare brand that focuses on a lot of ingredients from nature without including ingredients that could cause sensitivities and stuff like that. So it really focuses on benefits from nature, specifically benefits from ingredients sourced from Jeju Islands. That's where their kind of main factory is located and stuff like that. And I've always loved their brand. I always love their marketing. I love their ingredients and whatnot. And their products just have always worked for me. They've never caused me any sensitivity, any breakouts or any issues. And if anything, they've done amazing things for my skin when it comes to keeping it looking smooth, keeping it healthy without being over the top. With that being said, the first item that I got my sister for her new skincare routine is a cleansing oil. If you guys are not using cleansing oils, you have to start using them. Believe me, it's going to revolutionize your skin if you get clogged pores, if you have acne, or if you just want to make sure that you literally get everything from the day lifted from out of your pores when you're cleansing, this is going to do that for you. Cleansing oil is designed to go into the pores, pull all the dirt, all the oil, all the makeup, all the SPF to the surface so it can lather and wash away without having to use any kind of crazy abrasive cleansing brushes or things that are going to rough up your skin. So I got her this cleansing oil. It's a hydrating and moisturizing one. It's the moisturizing cleansing oil with olive oil. I love this one. I've used it on multiple occasions and repurchased it for myself. It doesn't overly dry out your skin or strip it in any way. And if anything, it leaves you feeling moist after. Plus it literally melts your makeup in a flash, even waterproof makeup gone. With that being said, I did not get her a foam cleanser because I already know she has a ton of foam cleansers at home and she doesn't really need a new one. But I would recommend doing a second cleansing process where you do your oil cleansing first then after once you rinse that off go in with a gentle foam cleanser just to make sure you got every little bit of makeup and dirt and oil removed quick lather and rinse and then moving on to skincare now this is where I would have gotten her a toner but I also know that she already has toners at home and I maxed out my budget at this point but I would probably recommend getting a nice gentle toner that's going to prepare the skin such as the Claire's supple preparation facial toner that you can see literally right behind me on the shelf that purple bottle is it I love that toner it's literally designed to just hydrate and prepare your skin to better absorb the ingredients that you put on after. It's perfect, doesn't break me out, doesn't have any alcohols, it's not an astringent, it's not hard on the skin, really beautiful and gentle. I've quite honestly been using that toner for like six years now. I love it. 
holy grail. Aside from that, I also wanted to get her an essence. This is the Innisfree Firming Energy Essence with Fermented Soybean. I and mean, if you guys saw my video on fermented snail mucin products, I talked a little bit about how I believe that fermented products are really important to use on the skin, especially if you're starting to get into an anti-aging skincare routine, because those kind of ingredients work wonders for preventing the signs of aging. And what fermentation process does to skincare ingredients such as soybean is that it amplifies the antioxidant power. So on its own, soybean extract would have a little bit of antioxidants in there and a little bit of a firming benefit, but when you ferment it, it, be, it becomes like a superfood for the skin, essentially. I love fermented products in my skincare. They revolutionize the game if you stick to it and use it consistently and regularly. Now, I got her in the essence because my sister does tend to have oily skin. I didn't get her too many creamy, heavy products just because I know that she has oily skin Skin, but I am considering the fact that her skin is aging, she has fine lines, starting to see some wrinkles, and has texture issues. So I want to get her products that are going to focus mainly on hydration, antioxidant care to prevent any future signs of aging, and then ingredients that are going to focus and tailor to fine lines and wrinkles and helping to firm up that skin that's already seen the signs of aging and also help to prevent them as well. So this one is a great product for that. It's loaded with a bunch of fermented ingredients, a lot of hydrating agents, and a lot of ingredients that are going to help to brighten the skin and just kind of do a nice, gentle, natural chemical level exfoliant without being too harsh. The next product that I got her is one of my favorite vitamin C's. This is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop Serum. It is a gentle vitamin C which makes it great for use every day. Now you can get some stronger vitamin C products out there on the market today but one thing that I personally find is I get really annoyed with vitamin C products because they smell so heavy they can be kind of oily on the skin when they're in a high percentage but this uses a nice gentle amount of vitamin C that's still going to brighten the skin, still going to give you that antioxidant care, still going to give you that mild exfoliating effect without being too much for daily use. Plus it also contains ingredients in there that are going to boost the antioxidant benefit on the skin to help with those fine lines, wrinkles, preventing those wrinkles, and also just making you glow. Next, I got her a Jumbo Aloe Vera from Innisfree. If you guys know me and my skincare routines, I always use aloe vera throughout the morning routine and at my evening routine. This is one of the best hydrators that you can use that is not an acid, such as sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid. It's technically an acid, so it can be too much acid for the skin on a regular use. It's okay to have hyaluronic acid here and there throughout your routine, but some people can actually get irritation from it from continual long-term use. Aloe Aloe vera is an excellent alternative to hyaluronic acid that's actually going to add moisture to your skin. Hyaluronic acid works to draw moisture to the skin. If there's no moisture in the air or existing on your face, then you're not really going to get the benefits of hyaluronic acid, which is why I love aloe vera because it literally is pure hydration on the skin. It's amazing for fine lines. A lot of people that have fine lines or, or, or those early signs of aging are actually just dehydrated. And the first thing you need to do to make sure you're on the right track to anti-aging and keeping your skin healthy and protected is having good hydration. So I recommend her to use this in her morning routine as her hydrating layer after her serum. And then also in her evening routine, I'm going to recommend this to her as a sleeping mask. That's how I use it to seal all my skincare in at the end of my routine in a thick juicy layer. Next product that I got her for her morning routine is one of my favorite SPFs. She was complaining to me how she cannot find an SPF at the drugstore that's over 25 SPF, which is disgusting. And even when I was going shopping for SPFs at Sephora and at the mall, I could not find anything above SPF 40 in anything and I was shocked so I got her one of my favorites the Claire's soft air UV essence everyday sun protector day lotion formula now she has had oily skin this is a great one for people with normal normal skin or skin that's combination because it's easy to get the effects of the SPF without being too oily but it's still nourishing and moisturizing so it's going to have those day cream benefits where you don't need a day cream before using this I literally use my SPFs like this one as my day cream it's a great way to make sure that you're protected throughout the day from the harmful UV rays you guys 90 
9% of skin aging is caused by the sun. So if you want to stay youthful looking forever, use your SPF as your day cream. I swear, use the Korean ones. They're better than all the Western ones. Don't even waste your time with that. Sorry guys, you might notice that the quality of the video has changed. My camera battery just died on me even though I charged it this morning, so I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I'm just going to finish off the remainder of this routine. So for my sister, I do intend her to use some of these products in coordination with her evening routine. The only one that would not be something to include in that evening routine would be the UV essence, of course, that just, you don't need that during the night. So otherwise, I just have a few active products that I want her to include in her routine. Not all together at the same time, but I want her to include them throughout the week or every other week and alternate between these products when she feels like she needs them. So of course, she would start her evening routine with her oil cleanser, then follow up with her foam cleanser to remove her makeup. After that, she would use whatever toner she has on hand, hoping it has no alcohol and that it's not an astringent. Then she would, of course, follow up with the Innisfree Firming Energy Essence to help give her skin a plump, juicy treat of fermented ingredients to keep her skin youthy, looking youthful and healthy. If she wants, she can use the vitamin C one of the nights, or if she doesn't feel like using the vitamin C, she can go in with any one of these treatments that I got her. Now, these are not supposed to be used at the same time. Actually, no, I think there's one of them in here that she can use, which would be the Ordinary's Matrixel 10 Plus HA. Now, this is a product that I love. I can't remember if I've reviewed it yet on my channel or not, but I have been using it religiously. Essentially, Matrixel is a peptide cocktail for the skin. And if you're not familiar what peptides are, peptides, you can kind of consider them the glue between the skin cells. As we get older, basically from the age of 19 plus, we start to lose that glue between our skin cells. We don't produce as much peptides, as much collagen that's going to keep our skin looking healthy and youthful for a long amount of time. When applied topically, different kind of peptides such as tripeptide, trihectapeptide, like there's a bunch of different forms of peptides. Copper peptides also are amazing, but a little more expensive. When used topically, they help to replenish that glue between your skin cells, which firms up the skin, helps keep it healthy, helps keep it defense against external factors such as acne causing bacteria just anything, anything. It helps keep your skin super, super healthy. So basically, this is a beautiful peptide cocktail for the skin that's going to make you glow and make your skin bouncy, healthy, and full of moisture. That one can be used at any night, no matter what treatment layer you use it with. You can use it with the vitamin C, or you can use it with one of these bad boys here. And these are two products that I love. The first one is the Ordinary's Retinol 1% in Squalene Oil or squalene, however you want to pronounce it. It basically is a gentle beginner's level retinol for people who are 25 years of age or older. If you're new to retinol, it is recommended to start off with a lower percentage such as 0.3% or 0.5% as it is a heavy duty exfoliant on the skin. Retinols are generally recommended for people who are starting to see the signs of aging. My sister has already been introduced to acids thanks to me and AHAs, so her skin isn't that sensitive towards them, which is why I'm going to recommend her to start with a 1% since she is concerned about the fine lines and wrinkles and texture issues that she's starting to see with age and is not happy about. Squalene oil or squalane oil is a similar oil to jojoba, only I find it a little more lightweight comparatively to hobo jojoba oil. It essentially is an oil that is closely matched to the natural oils that our skin produce. So when added topically onto the skin, it helps to strengthen the natural oil barrier without clogging the pores. And it's a great product to use incorporated with any kind of acids or exfoliants because it's going to help to add nourishment and moisture back into the skin where exfoliants and acids can strip that away. So that one she can use about once a week. I probably wouldn't recommend more until her skin starts getting used to it. And it probably shouldn't be used every Every single day unless her skin is really really thick and resistant to it otherwise this is maybe like a starting at once a week bump it up to three times a week max kind of product if she's not using the retinol 1% then I want to recommend to her one of my all-time favorites exfoliating this is the best acid I have ever used AHA wise AHA wise like I have like whenever I use this cream, my skin literally is like stunning, glowing, bright, soft. It's 
Out of this world, this is the 23 years old Betta Castle Original Cream. This is an AHA cream, and I don't know what they did to the formula because it's not that like crazy, but it's like the best glycolic acid cream I've used to this day. And I first started using this like six or seven years ago, and I still love it just as much. I love the fact that it's a cream too because it's not going to overly strip your skin. Like it has those nourishing, moisturizing ingredients in there that are gonna help, help to combat the negative adverse effects of AHAs, glycolic acids, and peel solutions while you still get the benefit of peeling. So this is going to help brighten the skin, get rid of hyperpigmentation marks. It's gonna to help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it's also going to just honestly make your skin stunning. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of budget for my sister, but I do know that she has a cream that she's actively using as a night cream at this time. It's, one thing I don't like about that is she's using the Nivea CoQ10 cream, which is a very basic, like it's not something I would recommend for someone in their 30s who is already experiencing fine lines and the appearance of wrinkles. Absolutely not. That's like beginner level, someone in their 20s who has dry skin kind of formula. It's not going to have a long-term effect on the skin. It's essentially a glorified drugstore moisturizer. What I would love to recommend and give to her is something like the Tony Molly Timeless Ferment Snail Cream. Snail is going to help repair the skin cells and with it being fermented it's going to just triple, double, quadruple the effects of the snail mucin on the skin. Snail mucin helps repair skin cells that are damaged. Everything just bounce. It's a really great beginner's anti-aging cream for someone who's in their late 20s to early 30s. I already made an entire video on this product, so if you want to see that, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But anyway, you guys, this battery on this camera is dying, so I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave a little insight on some products that I would recommend that are budget-friendly for someone who's concerned about aging, fine lines, and wrinkles, and needs actives that are going to help out. All in all, this entire routine probably cost me about $145, which is still pretty heavy, but considering you got almost an entire skincare routine for morning and night, I think it's pretty good. So thumbs up this video if it helped you out. Comment down below what you're using as your favorite anti-aging product right now, or acid, whatever it may be. Subscribe if you want to see more skincare-related videos, and of course, I will see you guys next week. Bye!